nothing is in vain. It was the last video we did for the DVD and it was probably the most time consuming one. We had different scenarios where we filmed. One was where we were jumping on a trampoline in, at night in the, our backyard. We made this wee, 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 and then we jumped on the trampoline, which probably annoyed our neighbors to death. Big flip. Salto. Did you read that? No, it's okay. where the hearts were quite far apart so no one really seemed to mind. And the other part was underwater. Which we ended up filming at our grandparents' swimming pool. There's no one here to play. We'll never be the same. a diving center if we could use the pool and it went to an indoor pool of some friends but we thought it's easiest to just do that our grandparents so what we did is we put some black cloth and put it on the side and the ground of the pool and then first of all we jumped into the pool because it should look as we would splash in the deep ocean. Did you ever, oh, did you <gasps> For me it was really scary. I was and um, was probably the like, scariest to my skydiving experience. Because I was standing, because you have to stand with your um exit facing the pool and then jump backwards. And the moment of it was like that much from the side of the pool to the water. And but you knew you had to, to, you had to, you had to drop into ice cold water. It was mainly because it was so cold. Mm -hmm. we'll never be the same. But then we spent, I think, about two hours in the pool, and we did lots of different stuff, most of which we didn't end up using. But we could do some really cool effects with the hair. Right idea on the day of the shoot that we should have some goldfish involved in the underwater scenes, which then turned into quite a bit of a challenge because where do you get goldfish from on short notice? But actually, we then just ended up getting them in a in a pet store. Thing. Yeah, but it wasn't a goldfish; it was a koi. It was a koi fish, fish. A baby koi fish. They grow to be about half a meter, I think. And they are now in a in a great pond with a friend, mm -hmm. living happily ever after. And they're called Mona and Lisa, and you can guess which one is which. Is there something? Oh, is there something? Is there something? There's something to explain. Ein Fischer mit der Rute wohl an dem Ufer stand. Saß mit kaltem Blute, wie sich das Fischlein wand. So lang dem Wasser Hände, so dacht ich nicht gebricht. So fängt er die Forelle mit seiner Angel nicht. Fichier, du bist fichier.